Hello everyone, welcome to Terra Special. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to symbolize line layer in QGIS. So as you can see, this is my line layer and in order to symbolize it, right click on this line layer and select the option properties. So once you have selected the properties, you can find symbology on the top. You can scroll up and down, you can find the symbology on the top below the source. So after that you can see here, you can choose the colors for the line. For example, right now it is in black color. You can change the color. So let me change the color to red color and you can move this uh, little circle to increase or reduce the color. So I, uh, I have uh, selected red color over here and uh, let me apply it you can see here the color has been changed successfully now you can reduce the transparency by selecting the opacity percentage so right now it is 100 percentage you can reduce it and you can see the difference you can see the difference over here you can see the transparency has been reduced if you reduce the transparency more you can also see the underlying layers Likewise, you can do. So let me bring it to the original position. And here in the bottom, you can find a lot of uh, line symbology which is available. Uh, you can choose any among them. If you want, you can choose dash. Or if you want to have, it might it, uh, it might be a railway line. You can select accordingly. You can select accordingly topo roads. And there are some more options. For example, you can choose colorful. So you can choose from any of this line. Apply it. You can choose it from the grayscale, where the line will be only found in the black and uh, different shades of gray. You can also apply it. Finally, you have uh, some more uh, uh, showcase. For example, a, a cat trail you can see here so it has been placed accordingly pattern circles likewise you can do pointing arrow likewise and finally we have topology where you can uh, see the you can select hydrology topo main road topo railway topo steps likewise you can do and uh, you can also edit it. For example, let me bring it to the original position. So let me select this, a simple line, apply it. So in order to edit some more, you can select this uh, simple line. You can select this simple line. You can see here, you can choose the color from uh, you can choose the color you can pick up a color from this from your screen by using this uh, pick up a color choose a color if you select choose you can choose a color from this uh, four options are available you can choose any of this so you can reduce the color uh, intensity or increase the color intensity accordingly you can select it okay apply likewise you can select the colors let me show you once pick up color one you can uh, pick up the color from screen for example if i need the red color from here i can pick it up pick it up likewise you can do so sorry i have picked up a uh, uh, gray color so let me try it once from here let me pick it up blue color yeah likewise you can see If you can you can use the pick colors or you can, you can directly use the choose colors where you, where you can uh, increase or reduce the by selecting color you can uh, reduce the intensity and you can choose it likewise you can do uh, you can use this option where you can uh, select the appropriate color you can uh, increase or decrease the shades or intensity of the color likewise Likewise, you can do. 
or you can uh, pick up from standard colors you can see the list of standard colors recent colors which you have used uh, projected colors so if you don't have projected colors new colors likewise new layer colors and finally you have this uh, sample color where you can pick the color up like this you can pick up the color likewise you can do so here you can see the next option stoke with where you, you can increase the stoke with for example if I set it to 1 you can see the difference so you can see the size has been increased likewise you can do and you can select the stoke line so what uh, stoke line you can select there are a lot of options dot lines you can select dot line you can see on the screen if you want you can change it from a, a dash dot line and uh, you can see the joint style be well meter round whether it should be round likewise the cap is nothing but the end of the line what you should uh, watch it look watch it it looks uh, looks like whether it should look like a square the end of the line whether it should flat or whether it should be a round one likewise you can select it you can also use the custom dash pattern where you can uh, you can see here you can change the spacing also you can increase or decrease the spacing likewise you can do increase or decrease the spacing if I keep it as uh, 10 let me show you how it looks like and let me change the color black uh, black color you can see here or let me choose 0 0.1 so you can see you can uh, use the custom dash pattern if you want and uh, let us go down and on the top you can find the option uh, symbol layer uh, symbol layer type where you can select from a uh, arrow you can select arrow also for example if you want a uh, arrow you can select arrow single arrow if you want single arrow you can use single arrow otherwise you can use a uh, uh, single reversed arrow so let me close this and go to the option lines here let me make it is normal line so that it will be easy for visualization now let me once again go to the simple lines here in the simple line you can select the arrow so you can see here head type if you want to select arrow you can select arrow uh, head type single or single reversed you can see it has been reversed or if you want double arrow you can use it you can use double arrow as well arrow width you can increase and decrease the arrow width you can see here add increase and decrease the arrow width head uh, head length you can fix the head length of the arrow you can increase the head length you can decrease the head length head thickness you can increase it and decrease it like this you can see over here head thickness likewise you can do so if you don't want arrow you can use some other uh, geometry generator where you can generate the geometry so that we will see in the upcoming videos hash line like this you can uh, give the hash line with the interval you can select the intervals of the hash line you could use a uh, int uh, sorry yeah let me explain this you can also rotate this hash line for example if you need it in uh, 50 degrees you can uh, you can see here it has been changed to 50 degrees likewise you can do and if you if you want you can use the interpolated line 
that also i'll be showing you in the next video varying colors for example you can use uh, the color ramps to set the varying colors likewise you can use single color let me apply it likewise you can uh, use the interpolated line where you can use uh, uh, multiple colors it will be looking good you can use marker lines you can see here marker lines let me apply it you can see you can set the interval over here also uh, let me take it as 10 you can see the interval has been increased likewise you can do offset along line you can you want you can use this the average angle over if you want you can rotate it so we just move on to the simple lines so these are the things which we have uh, looked in uh, if you want you can add uh, another line simple line you can add it add simple layer where you can add another line you can customize it for example let me uh, customize the line on the top let me increase the width of this uh, line let me put it to two and now let me come back to this line and here you can uh, change the stroke of the line where i need a dotted line like this if you want you can change the color to yellow color now you can see that the dotted line has been made here you can uh, increase the size let me increase the size to 50 and after that let me apply it so you can see that the yellow line is not visible so for that you can move it on the top and you can see the difference you can think uh, somewhat differently and uh, make your maps different you can uh, use such things in QGIS so we will be covering the categorized in the upcoming videos where we will be discussing about the multiple symbology for us uh, for same layer so i hope that uh, this video will be useful for you so if you have any doubts in this please do ask in the comment section thanks for watching terra special please do subscribe channel goodbye everyone